It is my uh, honor and uh, privilege as um, Ambassador of Ireland to the United States to send the warmest uh, St. Patrick's Day greetings to my friends in Seattle at the Irish Heritage Club of Seattle and to all the Irish community in that great city which I really enjoyed visiting over the last couple of years. I yearn for the day when I can get back but on this occasion I'll have to greet you virtually and I hope that uh, you can celebrate St. Patrick's Day with as much gusto this year as is possible in a virtual environment and that next year we'll be back to a uh, in-person St. Patrick's Day with all the great traditions that go with the celebration of St. Patrick's Day across this great country. Um, I'd like to, um, to uh, say that Ireland is, uh, is coping with the coronavirus, like everyone else in the world, we've been badly affected by it, we've lost too many people, but we are confident that our economy will bounce back once we can put the public health phase of this crisis behind us. Uh, I believe that uh, we are uh, well placed to, uh, to uh, deepen further our relations with the United States in the, the coming years as both of our economies seek to recover from the ravages of the coronavirus. We have a, an extraordinary relationship with the United States based on the presence here of so many people of Irish descent, including the members of the uh, Irish Heritage Club of Seattle, but also on the deep um, economic and business links that have developed in recent years, in particular between Ireland and Seattle, with so many Seattle companies investing in Ireland, so many Irish people working and uh, doing business in Seattle. It's a wonderful two-way relationship, benefits both of our societies. I'd like to finish off by uh, reciting a poem that I hope will remind uh, all of you of home. This is um, W.B. Yeats's great poem about the Lake Alevinish Free, which conjures up the, the beautiful island on Loch Gill in County Sligo, which Yeats so missed when he was uh, in exile in London. I will arise and go now, and go to Inish Free, and a small cabin built there of clay and wattles made. Nine bean rows will I have there, a hive for the honey bee, and live alone in the be loud glade. And I shall have some peace there, for peace comes dropping slow, dropping from the veils of the morning to where the cricket sings. There are midnights all a glimmer, and noon a purple glow, and evening full of linnet's wings. I will arise and go now, for always night and day I hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore, while I stand on the roadway or on the pavement grey. I hear it in the deep heart's core.